Hello mermaids, Serafina Delirium, and today it's June the 10th, 2022, so it's Fantastic Friday. Sebastian the Lobster is not going to be helping me with empties today, but that's okay. Today's empties number 21, I believe, of this year, and I think when I get to the end of the year, I'm going to like start over for number one of 2023, you know what I'm saying? So we'll see how many empties we get through in 2022. So right now we're at number 21. I think this is 2021 20, and 2022, like the years combined. So that's basically like 10 empties videos a year, give or take. So 21 is my, my grandmother's, my aunt, my grandmother Claudine Wimmer's Elizabeth Arden vintage hat box full of VIP empties, which is stuff that I did not throw away. I kept it, I kept it in the packaging, I wanted to keep it. And I wanna show you what's in this. It's old, it's been in the garage for quite some time and it needs to be cleaned up. So this is just an old uh, gift box from back in the day. I don't know if it's 70s, 80s or 90s, but it's a beautiful box and it was pretty special. So I decided to keep it. And I was like, what do I put in this? So I started putting empties in it that I did not want to throw away. And here's what's in it so far. These are things that are VIP empties that I have kept. Now you probably recommend, recognize from number 20, number 19, whatever, number 18, all of these different empties videos, I've shown this guy off. This is the Taste Beauty um, flavored lip balm and it's Baby Grogu or Baby Yoda. He is empty. This is 0 0.24 ounces or seven grams. And when you open him up, he is panned. I have not cut around here to make him able to store anything yet, but he is adorable. So he is in here. I have another one just like him that I have not used yet. And then I have two of these so far. I have the rest of my collection that they are still usable and I am using them. These are Blackheart Beauty. They came from Hot Topic and they're skull nail polishes. They're skull shaped nail polishes, but this one is dried up and this one is dried up. So I don't know what the colors are because it doesn't say, um, but you can see that they are, this one is down to here and this one is down to here. And they, this one is black sparkle nail polish, but this one doesn't have a name. And then also I have three headstone nail polishes. These are fantasy makers from Wet n Wild. And these are from when I was like 12, 13. The Blackheart Beauty were like 2013 or so. But these are Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers. Now these two are glow in the dark. This one is super old. You can see how old it is by how thick it is. It is dried up and it's Fantasy Makers Glow in the Dark nail color is 0.33 fluid ounces or 10 milliliters. Not usable. This one I think is usable, but it just doesn't work anymore. You know what I'm saying? So there's this much in it. It's pretty full. Um, so I just decided to declutter it and put it in here. Um, it's also glow in the dark, luminescent. Same thing, same amount. This one is Fantasy Makers Wet n Wild nail color and it is the same amount although it's worn off how much it is. And this is in Black Magic but it's like a glitter. It's like a dark glitter and it's dried up. It does not work anymore. It was like a confetti, like lines of confetti. Strips of it even. So up next, I have a Dr. Pepper lip balm that I wanted to put in a dollhouse. And it has come into here in this, in this box until I figure out what to do with it. And this is by Taste Beauty as well. It's 0.16 ounces or 4.4 grams. And it is completely panned. Dr. Pepper shaped lip balm. I've tried to find one just like it to match it, but I have not found one yet. I found other ones like Mountain Dew and, and Pepsi and stuff, but no Dr. Pepper. So then I have this Skylar Clean Beauty Fall Cashmere Rollerball Perfume. It's like a mini that came from Ipsy. And this is five milliliters or 0 0.16 fluid ounces. I loved this so much. It was definitely a vanilla scent. I love it with all of my being. I think I could put it with my empty perfume bottles back here because I have a whole bunch of empty perfume bottles this way. And then over here I have what's full or what I am using. And it's not very much, it's like this line is all full and this line back here is all empties so i'll just put it with them and then we also have this winky Lux diamond powder which i loved this was an ipsy ipsy item it's in medium i can't remember how much was in it but it had been used up panned 
by 2016, 2017. And I just kept it because it's too adorable. I cannot let it go. I could put that in a dollhouse for something. I feel like it would be a larger item. Like these samples are good for like porcelain dolls, like larger dolls, not like my tiny dolls. And this next one is Urban Decay's um, Sheer Streak. I think this is like the Revolution collection or something like that. But this is in Sheer Streak, it's lipstick. And it is just not good anymore, but I kept it for the packaging. But it has this much in it total left. But the consistency, it's dead. I can swatch it for you. Yeah. But when you put it on, you can tell that it's old. It's not good anymore. So this next one, I absolutely love this to death. I feel like I wasted it at the end because I put it in something else. I scraped it out, put it in something else, and I said, I'm gonna use this up, and I didn't. I ended up throwing it away, and I really regret it. This is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in 070 Cherry Tart. It was amazing. I loved the packaging. I love the quilted look, and I just loved this lipstick. It's absolutely panned, and I would definitely get this again. So I had to keep it because that bottle is so pretty. I couldn't let that go. I couldn't throw it away. And then this next one is extremely sentimental. Well, not extremely. It came from a really rough time, but someone gave it to me. The back side is peeling off. As you can see, I need to fix that. This is in 70 Sorier Rouge Coco Shine, and it is by Coco Chanel. So this is the only Chanel product I've ever owned. It was also emptied out. I used up every single bit of it. Loved it to death. And it was amazing. I really loved it. I'm keeping the container. Obviously, that's the first like VIP empty that I really kept and this one is by Estee Lauder It's the sumptuous extreme lash multiplying volume mascara It's in 01 extreme black and I thought this would be more expensive to replace than it really is But it's actually I could really I could pick this up for less than $20 I could get another one, but I kept the two because it just looks like it's a rich girl mascara Like it's really expensive looking and Estee Lauder normally is so I kept this. Um, it doesn't say how much is in the container, but it's a larger mascara. And last but not least, I have this Nivea cream. It's a little tin here. It's just empty. My mother loves this stuff, so she always gets these little tins, or I get them for her. And this is one ounce or 29 grams or 30 milliliters. So I kept this as well. And, you know, I should put these in here. I have a tattoo goo tin because I love these. I just love these little tins. This is the original Tattoo Goo, and it was 0.75 ounces or 21 grams. Um, so I, I can barely get it open. It's really hard to open it, but you can. And there's words and instructions and how to take care of your new tattoo. So I'll put that in there. And then I have this little unicorn box. And it opens. There's nothing in it. It's not a makeup product, but it's a unicorn. Pegas it's a Pegasus box. So anyway, that's everything in my VIP box right now. That's everything I decided to keep. And I just can't bear myself. I can't bear to throw any of it away right now because where's the lid to this box? <laughs> I couldn't find it. So I put everything back in the box. I'll show you one more time what's in here. Those are my VIP empties. I'm keeping them because I am a hoarder apparently. But they are just beautiful products or special. And let me show you some empties that I just went through if I have time, starting with this one. This is not used up yet, but this is going to be a VIP empty as well. This is, um, I think this is Taste Beauty too. Of course it is. Taste Beauty is amazing. They make the cutest stuff. It brings out the inner kid in me. So this is the Disney Princess Lip Gloss, and it literally is a lip gloss. It's Ariel the Little Mermaid, and when you open it up, it is a compact lip gloss, and it is grape scented sparkly purple lip gloss and you use your finger and you rub around and then you just apply it where you want to and I've hit pan in it obviously I've hit pan in it and I wanted to show you I mean it's a really thin like pan of lip gloss that you use your finger it's for girls um, so when this is empty I'm gonna use it to collect what's left of other lip glosses and other lipsticks and put them in here. So I'll be reusing this over and over again to help me use up products that I'm panning when they get to the end. So this will go back on my desk, but I wanted to show you that. And another product that I, I, I had this, 
And this is the LA Colors Color Last Top Coat. It's a clear coat polish. And it is down to this bottom line right here. It's got this much in it. It's hard to get out, but it started to smell like B.O. Like this nail polish is starting to smell bad. I don't know why it smells like B.O., but I cannot use it anymore. It smells like that even after it dries. This is the Crystal Top Coat CNP1 by LA Colors Color Last. And it was a good top coat, but that's why I asked Brian for a new clear coat nail polish because I just can't stand it anymore. So I'm going to declutter this. I think I'm just going to throw this in the trash maybe in the recycled glass i don't know if they can keep it or like recycle it or not um and then up next we have this these are my regular empties just so you know this is a secret powder fresh 24 hour invisible solid it's ph balanced and it's a travel size deodorant so this was 0 0.5 ounces or 14 grams and it's like half the size of a regular deodorant and it's empty now i really liked it Secret deodorants never fail. They're amazing. And currently what I'm using, this is going to be a VIP empty because I've never seen a deodorant this tiny. And I just started using this, but this is the native deodorant and it's coconut and vanilla. It has shea butter in it and it smells like shea butter. It's 0 0.35 ounces. This is a normal travel size deodorant and this is how big this is. So just imagine the size of this little tiny deodorant. I will open it for you and show you. This is what I'm using right now as deodorant. It is teeny tiny. It's great for kids. And um, so I thought about giving it to one of my kids, but the younger kids are too young for it. And older kids, they would probably want normal deodorant. So I just kept it for myself to see what it was like. So another tiny item is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream, and it's one ounce, one little tiny ounce. And I think I can re re um, recycle this little tiny bottle. I use this several times on my face, so like five times on my face and my neck, my tattoo. And then I realized it was great for poison ivy and like bug bites, like relief for bug bites. It was better than cortisone almost. It made the itching stop. It's fragrance free. It's just amazing stuff. Great for sensitive skin. And I definitely recommend this for my kids because every single one of my kids, all five of them, have sensitive skin like their mom and or well, I'm my stepdaughter. She is, she's included. She has sensitive skin like her dad. So I think this is amazing and I definitely recommend it. And if I can find the big one, the big one's on my bed. But Brian just got me one that was like really large one. So I can keep using it for bug bites, moisturizer, relief. It's amazing. I definitely recommend it. Unlike this stuff, which is, it's almost gone anyway. It's got this much left in it. And it came from Dollar Tree. So what can you expect? This is the Sheffield Pharmaceuticals Extra Strength Anti-Itch Cream. It's 1.25 ounces or 35 grams. And it just leaves a residue. It will make you stop itching, but it will leave a white residue all over your bug bites. So like I have bug bites over here on my wrist and poison ivy because I was wearing gloves, but they only go so far up your arm. And so it just leaves a white residue and then it peels off. It's awful. I hate it. I'm throwing it in the garbage. We've used enough of it so that I can say, this is okay. I've gotten my dollars use out of this and it's dead and that's it. That's all she wrote. These are the little bitty empties that I had and, um, and then my VIP empties. So I have a whole nother bag of empties, my beach bag of empties, but I think we'll get into this next time that we do empties. And Sebastian, that's where he's been chilling the whole time he's been in this bag. So I hope that you like this. And if you enjoy empties videos, declutters, haul videos, low buys, shop my stashes, and get ready with me, then I hope you will like this video and subscribe to my channel for more like it. Because when I get to 500 YouTube subscribers and 500 Instagram followers, I will be doing a, a really cool giveaway with some makeup, some hair dye, some eyelashes, all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. So I, at Instagram, I think I'm at 445 or 446 now. And on YouTube, I'm at 379. Thank you all so much for your support and your love and your kindness. You mean.